Southern California Congressman Ted Lieu is calling for a nonpartisan commission to recommend regulations for artificial intelligence, and he actually used ChatGPT to help write the bill. Congressman Ted Lieu joining us live this morning to discuss all of this. Uh, we're we're going to ask you about using the chatbot to write your bill here in a moment, but first, uh, what does this bill call for? What is the potential risk if we left artificial intelligence unregulated? Uh, thank you, Mark, for your question. Artificial intelligence is amazingly disruptive. My best analogy is it's sort of like the horse-drawn wagon right now, which was disruptive to society. But in a few years, it's going to become basically a rocket ship, and society needs to be prepared. We're going to have jobs that will be eliminated. New jobs will be created. It could help a lot of human tasks. It could also cause harm to society. And I want to make sure we get the benefits of AI, but limit the amount of harm it could cause us. Okay, so on that note, you're not anti-AI. You mentioned some of the benefits there. I mean, what benefits do you see? I'm a recovering computer science major, so actually I'm enthralled by AI. I think it's amazing what it can do. With ChatGPT, for example, I've used it to write portions of an op-ed article, to write my press releases, uh, introducing a bill that was written completely by ChatGPT. But it's also going to help a lot of people deal creatively with how do they write different scripts, or how do they perhaps write an essay, and it's going to make it really hard now for teachers and even journalists and editors to know, was this written by AI or written by a human being? So clearly a lot of people are trying it out. There's that interest there. And we did try to write the introduction to this interview using ChatGPT, but it was far from perfect. So following up on what you were talking about, what was it like writing the bill using ChatGPT? What, what was that process like? Uh, we gave it a prompt basically saying, your Congressman Ted Lieu, uh, write a piece of legislation uh, to introduce in Congress uh, to regulate AI. And essentially it popped out a pretty good piece of legislation uh, for a, a computer. Now, you're right, the first version is not exactly perfect, but guess what? In a couple months, you're gonna get another version. And then a few months after that, you're gonna get another version. And pretty soon you're gonna have a pretty amazing product that's going to act like a human being. And we also did ask it to think of some questions, and it gave us money that we were already planning to ask you here during this interview, including what challenges do you see regulating AI? Uh, AI is a very difficult subject matter to regulate because it's still not that well understood. And it's something that is pervasive. It's like not only in your smart toaster, but it's also in a car that's going 100 miles per hour. So I think we need to think about what areas we want to regulate. So we probably don't want to regulate the AI in your toaster, but we want to regulate AI in things that could kill you, right? Such as cars uh, or other systems. And how do we make sure that we also don't stifle innovation, but allow AI to continue to grow and to help society? And so you're calling for a commission here. Are Congress members tech savvy enough to know what regulations might be needed? So that's a great question. Uh, so none of us, for example, are molecular biologists, and yet there are laws and regulations that regulate pharmaceutical drugs. Uh, so we can regulate AI without having to be computer science majors or experts, but we do need experts to advise us. And that's why I'm creating this bipartisan Blue Ribbon Commission to provide recommendations to Congress on how we would go forward to regulate AI. Well, no doubt you'll, you'll have to answer these questions. So what do you say to people who say that regulations would keep artificial intelligence from reaching maybe its full potential? A bad regulations would do that. Good regulations would make it better. And that's what we've seen in the history of America. When we started regulating pharmaceutical drugs, we made the drugs better. We made them not only more effective, but also less deadly for people. When we start regulating automobiles, we made them safer, more fuel efficient. So good regulations actually help the products that they regulate. Okay, and before you go, gotta ask you, too much, too soon, do we see this crash and burn or is it here to stay? It is here to stay. People have called AI the fourth industrial revolution. It is here, we need to prepare for it. Okay, Congressman Ted Lieu joining us live this morning. It's fantastic insight. Uh, we wish you the best, thanks. Thank you.